Greetings, survivors and friends. Shadow Franks here with a quick Rust update for you this week. But for those watching and waiting for Brutalist, you might want to take note of these changes because, yes, it is proving to be very much subject to change. And your feedback has been duly noted by the team. For a start, in case you missed it, it's been confirmed that Brutalist will instead be a stone skin rather than top tier, which, although mean that we'll now end up with three stone skins, which wasn't the plan, I think at this juncture is probably the best decision and will make it a lot more useful and, to be honest, realistic. Because Rust is so realistic. Enough people thought it looked too much like stone and too weak to be top tier, although this could be argued, and besides this there was a lot of criticism levelled at the textures, which I agree looked a bit clean and not nearly concrete enough. Glad to say though these have all been rethought and on staging right now you can see the difference. Hopefully YouTube will do them justice, but these textures are far, far better. They look like proper concrete now and there are a lot of weathering decals that are conditional so that, for instance, below the roof line and under windows there's a lot of staining and there are cracks and weathering on exposed edges of foundations. Floor textures look much better, so do ceilings and roof structures and probably the biggest improvement is that now the block work inside is gone and instead has been replaced by authentic looking shuttered concrete. What do you think of this though? Is it more tempting now? Do you think it's an improvement over the last iteration and and how do you feel about it being stone instead of high quality? Let me know down below, please. This does raise another question, of course. Will there ever be a top tier skin? If so, what sort of thing should it be? I've heard a number of suggestions and have some of my own. I think something like recycled Bradley armor or parts of the launch site rockets would make sense and be thematic. Perhaps even something that emulates the look of the underwater labs, especially if it had lots of nice greebles on the inside and plenty of rivets. But if you wanted it to be a skin that could really be shown off, how about something flashy like solid gold or obsidian? Let me know your suggestions below, and if you fancy doing any kind of mock-ups or drawings with crayons, feel free to tweet them at me or post them on my Discord, and if I get some good ones, then I might show them in a future video or pass them on. Maybe Face Punch could even have a base skin design competition. What if, eh? In other news this week, homing missile launchers on staging now have ADS. This will give you a zoomed in black and white display with indicators for locking on and stuff. It still works without having to use it, but it's there if you want it now. In other changes, there's an option on the map screen coming to turn monetization on and off. I mean, toggle the visibility of vending machines. The tool cupboard UI is being tweaked too, so the tool section isn't separate, and you'll now be able to put the spray can in it. There are a couple of tweaks to the launch site, there's more loot being put in the main building, which I'm told will appear here, 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 and here, as far as I know. Not a 100% chance, so that's why only one was actually there when I checked. And the light switches are being moved to the second set of entrance doors so that players will always pass one. As well as this, there are a bunch of small fixes to things like hot air balloon armor, door jibs, minicopter pushing, and modular cars being pushed by explosions. There's also a new replicated convar coming for server owners called server.parachute repack time, which should be self-explanatory and is clamped between 0 and 15 seconds. I believe everything I've mentioned so far should be coming in October's patch on Thursday the 5th, but to work's in progress now, and the rail network link to connect above and below ground train tracks is planned to be added sometime next month, I'm told, so sub to the channel here to stay in the loop of when that arrives. There's a tutorial island, which is having a lot of work done to it, and should be in sometime this year, as far as I know. The Nexus system to link up groups of servers is currently in a bit of concept limbo, it seems. Not sure when that's going to happen, but at least we've got plenty of DLC, eh chaps? Lol, just kidding. Talking of which, that base decor DLC branch I mentioned last week has had a couple of new commits. Look, apparently, as well as a torch holder, there might be a minecart planter and storage barrels. Well, hey, there's also a branch aimed at adding a deployable mirror to the game. Bagsy making a haul of mirrors when that comes out and crashing the server. What I want to know is, when are we getting trophies like this? and pet crabs. Da. Well, that's you all bang up to date. Leave me a like, comment, and sub below, and you can support me if you like with Patreon, YouTube memberships, and super thanks. Come and watch me on Twitch and follow me on my socials for updates, including my Steam group, and I shall catch you all soon. But in the meantime, keep calm and stay rusty. Cheerio. Rust is so realistic.